What's up, guys? You're watching yet another episode of Life in Pictures, and we have Ashri there, as you can see him. Thanks so much for joining us, Shri. Now, it's a simple video, this, because we're going to show you some pictures of the past, off the field, on the field, and then we'll want you to tell us a tale or two about it. First up, it's with the great man, Viv Richards, and you seem like an absolute fanboy in this picture. Talk to me about this snip. Absolute. Can you see that on my face? With, with, with the king himself, huh? Viv Richards. This was... Yeah, this was uh, in Jamaica. I was following right from Antigua. You know, he was doing comms and every airport we should sit and talk. It just says in a squeaky little voice, a hello. And then uh, when uh, we won the test in Antigua and then we came to Jamaica and uh, we played the test in Jamaica and we won that too. And that evening, uh, I caught him. Uh, he came, he, he, uh, me, Ravi were there. And uh, this was during breakfast though. This The picture taken was during breakfast. But yeah, and then he started talking about fielding. And then he started talking about Jadeja. Can you believe it? And then he started talking about Jadeja and how easy he makes it look. Ah, he makes it look very easy. And then he was talking, then we both had a chat about how great fielders make difficult plays look easy. And how ordinary fielders make easy plays look difficult for the sake of television, you know. So I would put Jadeja. I mean, I'm a mere mortal, but an immortal like Sir Viv Richards. He said he would put Jadeja in the greatest field ever category because he doesn't dive. He doesn't dive. He just dives only when it is absolutely necessary. He uses his feet. He's always on his feet. And that is a sign of a great fielder. And that is Jadeja. So that is how we started conversing and he went on and on and on. And, uh, and then we met in the evening at the bar and a few of Eldorados went down and the night went into the wee hours of the morning. Yeah, it makes you think about all those concoctions that you get in the Caribbean. Definitely envious of you there. From one man, we'll move on to another man in terms of legendary status. I'm talking about Virat Kohli. Now, this is a picture of you and him with the test mates. I think it's Dhamsala, if my memory serves me right, and my knowledge that is. Now, what I want to ask you here is how you guys built this whole number one tag in terms of the test match scheme of things. Talk to me about how Virat Kohli was as a test leader, in your time with Team India in the test circuit? That was something with uh, Virat, you know. He always had it in his mind. Right from the day he took over as the captain of the Indian test cricket team, he was driven. He was driven, uh, I mean, in a way which no one else was to make Indian the best uh, test playing nation in the world. And that maze uh, was in 2016-17 uh, when we beat Australia 2-1. That was the final test in Dharamshala. And no one has held that maze uh, more more times than Virat Kohli in that decade. You know, I think in his seven years as test captain, six years we were the number one test playing nation in the world. We ended the year as number one test player. I think it was 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Of course, we didn't win the championship. Um, it was a quite a sad end. But yeah, no one has held that uh, maze more times in that decade than uh, Virat Kohli. That is uh, probably the fitting tribute. For a, for, a, for a man, for a player who was so passionate about test cricket and instilled that passion in uh, literally everyone who played the sport in India and, 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 and uh, even other countries. Just forget India, the ICC, the other countries. They started looking at test cricket as a different... Uh, um, he just brought the crowds back to test cricket, didn't he? Virat Kohli with the style of cricket India played uh, in, in his captaincy. He wanted India to play an aggressive brand of cricket and he and Ravi actually in tandem brought that flavour back and uh, he, he brought people back not only in stadiums but also on television. You know, millions glowing to watch India play test cricket. With, if it is in India with Ashwin and Jaddu or if it is abroad with Ishan, Shamis, Bumras and Umesh. Uh, of course, it was it was mind-boggling what he did to test cricket and he fittingly deserves to hold that more, more, more times than six uh, in that decade. Yeah, good memories indeed. Now, the Indian team, of course, travel a lot. Here's a picture that we've kind of scattered of you and Chetesh Pajara being flight buddies. Now, what I want to know is who, of course, travels best in the Indian team. And talk to me about certain memories that you've enjoyed with these guys on flights and planes and etc. I think this picture is a flight we were taking from Jamaica to New York. Lucky you. Yeah, this is a charter flight from Jamaica to New York. It had just us in the in the flight, and 
well it was it was not the best of charters there was no food on flight it was just water it was not a it was not a business class charter <laughs> it was just a plane air time we sat and we went yeah we were watching uh, some movies and most of them months nowadays the minute the flight takes off everybody is on their uh, device streaming uh, something or the other uh, or else they are just having their meal so uh, you don't see too many uh conversations happening during flights uh, except when there are when there are short flights probably there would be a few conversations but yeah but mostly each one to his own in the flight it makes you think about how much you guys actually travel and soak up pretty much all parts of the world now there's another picture of you and anil kumble here who of course loves to get his camera out whenever he can what's the relationship that you shared with anil bhai and talk to me about this picture where was it as well Yeah, we played uh, under 19s and under 17s together, me and Anil. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. The big jumbo. Yeah, we played a lot of school cricket together, junior cricket together. When so where was cricket. this, by the way? This was uh, in the Sahyadri range. So after losing the first test to Australia in Pune, right? Uh, we 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 took off to a team event. We went into the Sahyadri range and we did some uh, mountain climbing. We played a few team games, and uh, you know it was a lovely. Uh, 24 hours we spent. Now uh, we played some um, trust games and some treasure hunts and stuff like that. So this was the next day morning, early morning, five o'clock. We left and we all of us uh, trekked up on one of the. I think it was called the Camelback Peak uh, in the Sahadri Range. So this was taken on top of it. It's a selfie me and Anil got on top of that range. Yeah. And then we came back to win the series to one. So one of the best uh, uh, Test match cricket series I've been a part of, of course. And um, yeah, I mean, 20, 2018, 19 against Australia, 2-1 was a great series. Of course, 2021, 22 was probably the best Test series ever, which we won in Australia. So yeah, I mean, the top three Test series we played, one of the top three Test series we played that that series. Yeah. Now we've got another picture of you reading Ravi Shastri's book. It makes me think, how much of a bookworm are you, Shri? Because do you read a lot of books in your spare time? I presume so. Um, this was the day we got the books. Uh, you know, this was just a couple of days before the launch. The great, the famous, rather the infamous book launch. <laughs> so, the, so we got the book in our rooms, and I was uh, reading it, and I wanted to put up a social media post about stargazing. It is good fun. You know, Ravi's take on those sixty uh, odd cricketers in that book. And I, I wouldn't categorize myself as a bookworm, but I read quite a bit. Um, most of my reading is uh, non fiction very little fiction um the last book i touched was a book by narayan murthy's wife sudha 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 narayan murthy it's about tales from um, the puranas of india so from the mythic tales about the kings and the sages and serpents it's a lovely little uh, book that's the last book i touched but the last full book i read was a book called uh, um great place to work that's a lovely lovely book i read uh, recently before that uh, every moment matters is another good book which i read so recently but yeah I, i do read but because of my travel with the indian team and because of the advent of uh, ott platform my reading has definitely gone down i must admit and confess Lastly we'll talk about the Indian captain which of course is Rohit Sharma you got another picture with him an old picture but I just want to understand the communication the relationship that you share with Rohit Sharma when you were with team India what's the things that you normally do and say to Rohit I just say hey ro what's up man how is Sam- how is Samira how are they doing I uh, hope you're taking care of yourself and just go and do Rohit thing just be the best captain in the world that's it he will he will he will do that he'll take care of his people and i'm really looking forward to him reading his first big tournament for him right so that's all we have in life in pictures thank you so much ashri there for lending us your time more to come on this space of cricket.com subscribe and press the bell icon for all the videos that you guys want to watch i'm avnish hegde we'll see you soon